Foreman, Best Life Chef. And in the spirit of our Best Life theme this month, aspirations, I'm gonna tell you about one of my aspirations, which is eating locally as much as possible. This time of year, there's not quite the variety that we have at other times of the year, but we do have winter squash, which is one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you ways to prepare it, and most importantly, how to cut into it very safely. The easiest squashes to find at the market are butternut squash and acorn squash. But if you do find other ones available at your local market or farmer's market, such as delicata, sweet dumpling, kabocha, don't hesitate to buy them, they're all delicious. You prepare them very much the same way as you do these squashes, and you can use them in pretty much all the same dishes. Butternut squash is a little bit less dense than some other varieties of squash, a little more water content. And as a result, it really is ideal for things like sauces and soups. Acorn squash is a little denser than the butternut squash. And as a result, it's, a, it's great for ravioli filling, stuffing, even a side dish. Also, keep in mind that all of these squashes are great sources of vitamin A. What intimidates people about squash, and for good reason, is cutting it open. They are hard, but I'm going to show you how to do it safely. The squash should be washed and thoroughly dried and always cut on a dry cutting board to make sure it doesn't slip and slide. Next thing to do is take a really large, sharp knife, apply even pressure, and cut through. Applying some pressure again. Sometimes when a squash is really hard, it might even be necessary to cut by inserting the tip of the knife into the squash. And one more time. I use the same basic technique for all winter squashes. Once you've opened the squash, all you need to do at this point is scoop out the seeds, um, which you can either toss, or if you want to, you can roast them and save them for a later use, such as a soup garnish, Sprinkle on a salad. Oops, there they go absolutely everywhere. Something like that. I'm gonna use my fingers a little bit to get the last ones out of there. There we go. Next thing that you need to do is to use some type of an oil. You can use an olive oil spray, olive oil, or a spread that does not contain any partially hydrogenated oil, such as the Best Life Buttery Spread. Place the squash on a sheet pan and then stick it in a 400 degree oven. As you can tell, depending on the size of the squash, that'll really determine how long it takes the squash to cook. It could be as short as 30 minutes or it could take up to, the, to an hour. You just need to test it and make sure it's tender before pulling it out. Once the squash is cooked, it's ready to use for all sorts of different things. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm gonna scrape this squash into a blender for the beginning of soup, which I'm actually going to put the recipe on the Best Life blog. I like to use a high speed blender because what really happens is you get a really nice puree. Um, the Blendtec is a great example of that type of a blender. I hope you find a way to use all types of winter squashes and you find it as pleasurable as I do to incorporate this delicious and nutritious food into your everyday meals. Also, please be careful while you're cutting them.